Hi, and thank you for watching. For today's video, I'm going to show you what is in my golf bag. I played last night, so my clubs are dirty. This is, this is my bag. That is it. Bye. Just kidding. This was a $40 bag and it was full of clubs. I don't remember what brand it was. I have since replaced all the clubs and I kept the bag because it's super cute. Let's get started. Maybe on the outside. I have my membership card for a driving range. Not showing that. So this is my golf towel. This is Encanto 9. This is a towel from my favorite golf course. It is a nine hole course, very short. They call it a par three course, but there are par fours on there. I love it. I highly recommend it. If you go to Phoenix, you should go to Encanto 9. They have an 18 hole course right beside it, but I love Encanto 9. I'm gonna go like this for a while on the outside parts. This is where I have my range finder. This is the ShotScope Pro L2. I lost my Pro L1 and it was better. So it just caught distances a lot faster and it was more accurate. This thing, it's so weird how it'll say like 200 yards, I meant 212, I meant 300, I meant 40. Like, I don't like that. Here I have my golf balls. These are the Callaway Super Soft. Dun -dun -dun. I marked it. Usually in this zipper is where I keep the boxes of the sleeves of balls, but I've gone through them, so there's nothing in here. <laughs> this is a slot for drinks, but I never use it. And then on the other side, this is where I keep pencils and the Sharpie to mark your balls. I probably don't need to do it because I use pink golf balls, but if you have Pro V1 or Kirkland balls, a lot of people use the same golf ball, so you should mark it. I have a bunch of tees. This is the PTS Pro Length two and a quarter, I think. I like it because it's yellow up to here. That's how far that I stick this into the ground. So it's consistent. Then in here, I have all my golf gloves in this pocket because I have different color ones to match different color outfits. Usually for golf, I'm just pink and, usually for golf, I'm just pink and green. I still need options. I almost forgot, I also purchased a couple gloves. This is my order, it's just little, and I just wanna show them. So I purchased a pink women's left size medium. I love G4. These are the shoes that I wear, the pink leather ones. And you want a glove opposite of what hand you are. So this is the pink one, very cute. My other glove is just from Amazon, but this says that it is the finest grade Cabretta leather. And I love them because they come in fun colors and just make your outfit cuter. I'm so happy I found a dark green glove. The one I have is lime green, it's okay I wear it, but I wanted a dark green, so I'm excited. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I wanted. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, cool. Oh, I wanna go out so bad. I like this color. These are really buttery smooth and very nice. I cannot wait to try these out. This just looks good. Feels great. Before I forget, see my old gloves. These I purchased on Amazon. Oh, and my ball marker. This is the Golf Sidekick Giatiga. <laughs> Ball marker. You don't necessarily need a ball marker. You can just use your tee. A ball marker is for when you're on the green and you're putting. You can like mark your ball and then pick it up and clean it or something or pick it up and put the line where you want it. I don't do any of that. I just honestly purchased this because it's cute, but I've seen people use like a tee. They just mark their ball that way. You can do whatever you like. What a workout. This has a strap that you can wear as a backpack and when you tilt it down, it's like a tripod. When you tilt it, it can stand. But I usually use a push cart when I go. I'm actually on the market for a push cart because I just rent the ones at whatever course I'm at. These are my clubs. I'll start with the putter. This head cover I purchased on Amazon. I'll try to find everything and link everything below, but wish me luck. This is the TaylorMade Spider SR. Ooh. <laughs> Um, it's a thick handle. I didn't really have a preference on my putter. I'm just a lousy putter, so I'm trying to learn. You can pick up your golf ball if you're jazzy. I would feel very embarrassed if I tried to do that and it didn't work. With my luck, it'd be like... When you're looking down at it, it'll like help you line it up. This black line right here. 
so you know which way to go. I don't recommend lining this up. I just feel like it just is too much to look at, so I just leave my ball. As you get better, I'm sure that those lines help. I like this putter. I like putting strokes. I practice putting a lot. Reading greens is so difficult, so if you have any tips for reading greens, let me know. My putter is in the middle left pocket, and it makes sense when it's leaned in a push cart. This is just the most logical way for me to access all of these clubs. So. Here are my wedges. Like I said, they're very dirty. I just played yesterday. So I use a 54 and a 48. So my sand wedge, my pitching wedge. And they're both tailor-made milled grind too. I don't know. The club face. Ooh, these are cold on my lap. <laughs> the club face is like milled grind and it will rust. I'll link it down below because I really don't know what I am talking about, but I love these clubs. I didn't alter these at all. They're just this is the Grip Golf Pride Tailor Made and I love these very much. They're my most consistent clubs, definitely. Up next are my irons. These are my newest additions. They're new to the family. These are so dirty. <laughs> Sorry, but this is funny because you'll see which ones I use the most. So I have the 9, 7, and 5. These are the tailor-made stealth irons, and I don't have a full set. I just purchased onesie twosies. These I ordered online from Dick's Sporting Goods, and I chose the club head and the shaft. These are the KBS Max Graphite Iron Shaft and good grips. These are the Sonar undersized lambkin grips. I love them. I like graphite shafts because they're lighter than steel. My nine iron is lovely. She's not that dirty. I didn't use her yesterday that much, but when I do, is this considered even a good hit? No, because it's kind of closer to the toe. Whoops. I'm doing my best, okay? I'm still new, so that's where I hit it. I practiced my seven iron all day yesterday because it's less consistent than I would like, so. <laughs> it's a process. I hosled it so many times. So this is the toe and this is the hosel, but look at these. <laughs> I should have cleaned these so you wouldn't know. My five iron is clean because I don't know how to hit this yet. If you are a new golfer, long irons are going to take a while. Golf Sidekick said don't expect to hit long irons well for the first two years of golf, okay? I practiced this guy at the range, but I don't really play it out there. No refunds if you customize them. So you gotta learn how to deal with them. I have not been to a club fitting or anything like that. I just purchased these. Up next, this is my four hybrid. This head cover, I purchased a set on Amazon. It's really cute and it has this spinny thing so you can choose what number club it is. So this is my four hybrid. I don't use the whole set, I only use this one. This is the TaylorMade M2. I purchased this on my birthday or for my birthday, whatever. When I'm on a perfect lie and I hit this on the fairway, it like tings, the noise is lovely. It feels so good to hit. I love this club a lot. It's just the M2 shaft. It says 45 Flex L, which means ladies. This is a similar handle to the irons. I love this. It's kind of sticky and it's the perfect width for me. It's a good grip. I got a good grip. Boy, I can miss hit it. I'm not consistent, but man, I can hit this thing so well if I hit it well. <laughs> this is my three wood. I'm sure I've shown this one before. I got this cover. I think it was 10 bucks at Dick's Sporting Goods and it is also the TaylorMade M2. So this is a little less consistent for me. I used to like this better than my driver. I think it's good on a mat at the range, but I haven't used this much on the course, but it's the same shaft and grip as the four. Again, when I hit it correctly, it tings and it just feels so good. Question, if you golf and you're just watching this, thank you for watching. I have a question for you. Where do you line up your ball? I've heard that if you put it closer to the toe, that's better. I've heard the middle is better on that logo right there. What do you think? How do you line up your three wood? And last but not least is my driver. So this head cover I purchased on Amazon. Hello. It's a pig because I had a fox head cover, but it was orange and it just didn't match. And pink is my favorite color. So 
Pig it is. It's so cute, but it looks like a stuffed animal. It doesn't look like a real pig. It doesn't freak anybody out. I love animal head covers. So this is my tailor-made M4 driver. I had a love-hate relationship with her, but then I realized the problem was me and not this. The shaft and the grip are the same as the M2s. This is a great driver for beginners. So it has an adjustable loft, and if you're just starting, I think using it on the highest loft is your best bet. So that's what I've got going on. This is not very expensive as far as tailor-made goes, and it is a very good driver. It's nice and lightweight, and I love the adjustable loft. I love that this is black because you can see your impact. I couldn't carry over 150, so I wanted a different driver, but I just kept this one and we got there together. So I improved, she stayed the same and was there for me. So what is this, 12 degrees of loft? Yeah. So all of these clubs, by the way, you don't have to spend this kind of money. I have no life and this is my one hobby. So this is just what I wanted to get. No one told me to get these things. I did my own research. If you want any advice, I would say don't just only go for the best, most expensive things. Sometimes it looks a little lame. I think that you should purchase whatever you're comfortable purchasing. Don't put yourself in a bad financial situation just trying to look a certain way. Whatever you choose, make sure it's what you want. You know what I'm saying? Golf is a personal sport. Don't do things for other people. Do what makes you happy and purchase what you like. If you want to thrift clubs, I did and it was super fun to do. I don't think that this is the time to be flashy and try to purchase the best things. I'm not going to get Pro V1 balls because I just, it probably wouldn't make a difference for me. Most of these I purchased when they were on sale. The irons were a little spendy, but that's why I bought them one at a time. I might even still have too many clubs for my level. Just do whatever makes you comfortable, and if people have something to say, somebody could definitely have something negative to say about my bag or what's in it, and I don't care because I know that this is what I want and it makes me happy. There's just so much in golf that it's so fun, but I like bags because you can show your personality with them. I like my cute head covers. The woods and the driver came with a head cover, but I just felt like I wanted to make it my own. What else was I gonna say? Aside from everything, I'll be fine keeping these forever. Probably. I like to put sunblock on before I go so that my skin can absorb it and I don't get it on my outfit. Most people put snacks in here. I just don't snack. Yes, that is what's in my bag. I love my bag. I wanted to share and if I'm missing anything, let me know and what is your favorite thing in your bag? I'm interested. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for going through my bag with me. I really appreciate it and I will see you in my next video.